Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.12 where I'm once again testing the Firefly Reentry mod to see how it works in real solar system. It has been updated. It is version 1.0.1 and the update says that fixes RSS reentry starting too late among other things. So I'm going to see how that all shakes up. Uh, so one thing I might want to do is reset the numbers let's see uh, no it looks like it's got the default numbers and still got the Bioshock so there's, there's all the default stuff so that's fine so we'll see how it does this time with my Link spacecraft as well as the space shuttle those are the two things I tested previously so I might as well keep things consistent and well we don't have to go through launch and the, the dual return I'll see you folks once the spacecraft hits the atmosphere uh, going down. Okay, we have kicked off the service module and we are coming down. Alright, well the entry strength is already above zero, it's not a negative number and we are at 107 kilometers so number wise it's better. I'm not seeing the effects yet. Our service module has just exploded. I heard it somewhere over there. I see a hint of a bow shock there. Now we're getting flame effects at 72 kilometers. So that's where we get them. Now if I increase them, well that is better. Probably we need to get a better number here. But it'll be up to taste what number you like. The good news is that if you change that number, now that the entry strength becomes a positive number earlier, like at 108 kilometers, uh, when you change the strength base, it'll have an effect instead of not having an effect because you know if you change the number and it's a negative number it's not gonna have an effect but now it will have an effect and it'll be up to the user how much strength they want so let's go back to the default number which is 2800 that's how that is at 60 kilometers let's see where it ends by default Oh, so I like this sort of trail off here that the bow shock is doing. And now we get more little flying bits and color in here compared to the previous version. And that's just by default if I pump it up a little bit. Uh, here I don't feel like I need to pump it up. Let's not take a look at this side. <laughs> that's still not looking... So 2800 is okay. Well, I probably still want more than that. But let's see what 2800, the default number, does. Here, we're at 42 kilometers and it's diminishing. It's about curb and orbit speeds here now. So, okay, I mean, I think it's at least more tweakable than it used to be. Because of the way the numbers work now. I won't belabor this one. Let's hop on over to the space shuttle and see what it does there. All right. Here we are all set up. Guess I can just go into this view and... Off we go. I'll get a bit of the launch here with Julio Dandi's KOS script in control, but mainly I'll just catch up with you once the shuttle starts making its re-entry since that's what the video is all about. Okie dokie. Well, I do have to remember to dump the extra fuel that I didn't need. Okay, that should do the trick. I will show the landing just for the heck of it, but mainly we're here for the 
re-entry effects. And maybe I'll up it right from the start. Let's say we'll go with 4,000 instead of 2,800 and see how that goes. Okay, heading over to KOS. Yes, KSC. That, but we're really interested in that Firefly window though. Well, it is sort of a mess, but. Uh, I can't drop the UI because we want to see the altitude and everything. And maybe also see the entry strength to see what number we want to hit. Okay, we've got some glow here. Oh wait, that's the body glow. Right, that's just what comes with the shuttle mod itself. So not not Firefly yet. If I really up the strength right now, will it do anything? Not really. But we can see the bow shock if I up the strength like this. It's there. If I reduce it again, it goes away. So if I set it to 40,000, it's going to be really crazy at the peak strength. That might be a thing. We might actually need the strength base to have a different curve around here. Four hundred thousand. Four hundred thousand gives us plenty. Um, Eighty thousand. Eighty thousand gives us a little bit right now. If we back down to eight thousand, that goes away. And as it starts making a turn here. So yeah, we we sort of need a different sort of curve to this. So that we basically have a higher number early on, but then it doesn't get too severe. Because if I set it to 80,000 now, it's going to look crazy by the time we get to 60 kilometers. 24,000. 24,000 is still not enough right now. 40,000 is maybe a little bit much. 28,000? 28,000 is tasteful. But it's nice that we can just change this one number. At least that works now. Trying to figure out right now what the lowest viable number is. So, not 8,000 right now. 10,000 just gives us bow shock. 12,000 is okay right now. You're at 80 kilometers, basically. So yeah, we could set it to 12, that, let's see how 12,000 works when we get lower. But I'd be satisfied if we get something at 80 kilometers. So maybe this is good as long as it doesn't do something crazy lower down. As somebody had suggested a tweak to that uh, RO physics file that did seem to work out a little bit better than the ones I tried myself. I haven't changed that in this case, of course, we want to see what happens just with Firefly without any other changes. But that might be another solution, but that was meant to increase the height, and I think we've got a way to get the effects at an earlier height. It's just a matter of what the optimum, optimum number is. Well, the shuttle's been hanging out at over 75 kilometers for a while now. It does sort of do this. So for most of a shuttle re-entry, 
we probably want this 12,000 number. Otherwise, for most of the distance or time, we're not going to have anything. If I put this back down to 2,800, this is what we get. So we definitely don't want 2,800. 12,000 seems nice. Okay, we are lower down now, 70 kilometers, and now it's like this. Probably need some re-entry sound. Just for the heck of it. Well, now that 12,000 is getting a bit severe, isn't it? What does 2,800 look like? Now it's, I mean, it's a little bit. That's still a little bit low. But we saw pretty much there's a hard cutoff at some point. This doesn't look too bad, this 8,000 at this point. But earlier if we put 8,000 in it didn't show anything. But this might be a little bit too wicked. That makes it look like something dangerous is going on. But maybe I'll stick to 12,000. Shoot. Make it dramatic. Okay, well, it's, it's sure getting dramatic now. Now we're talking. 61 kilometers. Well, there's at least more of what I had expected to get when I installed Firefly. Got a bit of a smoke trail too. Might want to turn that off, <laughs> to be honest. I don't think there should be a smoke trail. At least you can turn that off. Well, that requires a reload though. Okay, yeah. There we go. Right along the Gulf Coast here. And reversing. Right over New Orleans. Okay, now the effects are diminishing somewhat. 57 kilometers, 3600 meters per second. Entry strength going down here. That's fine. Oh, and there was an update to the re-entry script from Giulio Dondi that is supposed to land a little bit quicker. I haven't got that in yet. I'll try and get that, but Giulio Landi had said that there was an update that would cut down the extent to which the shuttle floated above the runway. This one will still be floaty, but uh, it should still be safe. Still stops within the runway bounds, so. Maybe it's keeping the flames a little bit too long now. So, somewhere between 8,000 and 12,000 is the sweet spot. If we go to 2,800, that's barely there. But I'll stick to 12,000 and see what that gets us here, but it's clearly a little bit too vigorous right now. I mean, Florida's right up ahead. So yeah, maybe maybe the curve needs to be shifted for RSS. A little bit more flames on the higher end and then a little bit less on the lower end here. I mean, still more than what 2800 give, gives us. You know, I'd still want more than this. 
So, yeah. It's just that the overall curve needs to be tilted. But here, 12,000 is not too bad. If it's clear of flames right on time as we get to the coast of Florida, that'll be good. Okay, here we come. And yep, here's the coast of Florida and we're clear of flames. 40 kilometers. Entry strength going down there. Okay, pitching down. Well, I think I can set Firefly aside at the moment. The link to Firefly will be in the video description. I guess I'll leave the information up here. Okay, it is now turning. It's a big old turn towards the runway. Alright, it is lining up here. Okay, pulling up. Let's see, landing gear dropping down. And again, this is apparently fixed in the script as far as it taking a while to sit down is concerned. It's being very, very careful. That's okay, as long as it's safe. Okay, drag shoot. I'm manually applying the brakes. It could probably do it as well. Okay, and with that it is done. So there you have it. That's how the new update to Firefly looks with some tweaks. I did tweak the numbers a little bit, but the important thing is you can now tweak the numbers and get an effect in uh, RSS. And so you can set it to whatever you think will be best. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.